again. So we'll see as we get closer. So obviously it's baking out there and it may just be hot enough to bake a cookie. Well, meteorologist Jordan West is in the backyard to show us about that. That is right, Ben. It is hot out here, or that, for lack of better words, of course. Um, so yeah, the question is, can we bake a cookie in this type of heat? Well, we got the cookies here. We got the pan here. Let's, let's, let's test it out, you know, because I'm going to just put these cookies on the pan. We'll do about six of them. Chocolate chip is obviously the superior choice. We'll just do five. How about that? There we go. Now, we're going to use the storm lab, specifically the dashboard, to do the cooking because it can get so hot up in there. We're using this thermometer here, and it's showing, let's see, 152 degrees. Wow. So let's just take these and throw them in there and see what happens. Now, the good thing about these are these are the edible cookie dough cookies. That means even if they're raw on the inside, they're still safe to eat, unlike most cookie dough products out there in the store. So we're just going to put them out here onto the dashboard that's over 150 degrees, and we're just going to let them cook. We'll see what happens. Probably going to take a minute. Yeah, I'm live in the backyard garden. Meteorologist Jordan West, 13 WMAZ News. A minute or two, but we got some time. Thank you, Jordan. Okay. Jordan out in the backyard. He's cooking up some cookies. Now it's in a car though. Let's check in. That's right, Ben. Live in the backyard garden. We are cooking some cookies. So here's an update on where they are. You can kind of see here and they are slowly melting, slowly but surely. But because the internal temperature of the storm lab is only 150, 160 degrees, realistically speaking, it's going to take quite some time for them to actually fully cook, even though they're edible raw. So we did the work for you actually about four or five hours ago. We put them in the storm lab. We got some GoPro, set them up so you could see everything that's going on. We were able to measure everything every step of the way. And you can see those cookies slowly melting. Overall, they did indeed cook. I actually have the results right here. You can see you got eight perfectly cooked cookies. Now they are a little bit on the drier side, but hey, that's neither, neither here or there. Nevertheless, Ben and Laura, you guys are gonna be my taste testers, so make sure you grab a glass of milk and get ready for a sweet treat. Live in the backyard garden, meteorologist Jordan West, 13 WMZ News. Okay, so instead of video of the day, you've been watching Jordan. He's been baking us some cookies in the storm lab. Yeah. And uh, just to kind of show how hot it really is outside. We ready, guys? We're going well, to try I mean, them out. Yeah. It there is a real cookie. It is yeah. a real cookie, uh -huh. yes. It's solid. Yeah. Well, I, I gave, could do that all day. See, I don't like actual cookie dough anyway. Yeah, see, so that's, so, kind that's of a, not bad. I don't like yeah. a soft cookie anyway. Mm -hmm. It's not as dry as I thought it was going to be no, either. No, no, because I was, uh, I gave Jordan a side eye a little earlier this afternoon. Mm -hmm. I'm like, am I going to get sick eating this? He's yeah. like, nope, nope. And I got to be honest, I wouldn't have eaten that and said, this tastes like it was cooked on a dashboard of the storm. No, so, <laughs> not yeah, it's pretty good. There you go. Good. Thanks, Jordan. No yeah. problem. <laughs> Cookies for everybody. Oh. And thanks so much for watching. That wraps up for today's edition of 13W MAC News 5. Stay with us for more news in less than three minutes.